Alright, so in this short video tutorial, I'll be showing you how to use the Virtual Star Alliance Automatic Palette Report and ACAR system on Linux. Okay, so first, um, you need to download it from Virtual Star Alliance's or Merlion's website. You can also get it from um, my, that is Narendran Murlidran's, uh, M U R A L E E N's uh, Bitbucket repository. Um, right, so once you download it, for your operating system you extract it right now I'll be using uh, Linux because well yeah that's what I use so once you extract uh, the zip file you will get these five files the APS data the libraries uh, the JPEG file a readme file and the actual jar executable file now first of all uh, you need to copy the APS data file and paste it in your home folder because generally in Linux when you run a program it runs it off your home folder and it looks for the APS data file relatively to where you're running it off so yeah the home folder um, this can stay next to the uh, doesn't matter um, right now this image will show you the FG run telnet settings I'll, I'll be showing it anyway so let's just leave that and the readme file it's very important that you read the complete readme file for both operating systems right so this is fg run i'm gonna you know get here after uh aircraft uh airport and stuff click on advanced input output all right in the input output tab i have to create a new telnet protocol socket bi-directional 50 hertz local host and any port you want I'm just gonna use uh, 9321 because that's the default no right and um, the type is UDP you click on new to create that port okay and then you can run flight gear if you use a command line to start flight gear uh, have your basic uh, command line FGFS yeah define your um, options and then put in double dash tolent equals 9321 that should um, start flight gear with the property server on the port 9321 okay so I'll, I'll start up flight gear and get back in a minute Alright, so when you started up flight gear, uh, got your aircraft ready for the flight, and it's important that you have your fuel set to the uh, amount you're going to be starting with for the flight. You can start up the APS. So, all you have to do is, uh, right, first of all, you have to make sure you go to properties and permissions. Yeah, you have to make sure that it's allowed to be executed uh, as a program. You need to check allow executing file as program. That's really important when you are. Uh, trying to run this program now once you've done that you can um, open it with an open JDK or a JRE or any Java runtime environment it's gonna show this nice splash screen uh, while it loads uh, generally if this is the second flight of the day or something like you've already started this before it won't take a while but then um, like now uh, it's the first time I'm starting it today so it, it took a while there to load okay so I'm gonna go here you have to make sure your host is localhost and the port is the telnet port you entered in your FG run or in your command line option so once you have that you click on connect once it connects there you go um, you can leave these uh, alone for now if there's if you don't if you have your APS data somewhere else you have to change the path um, now this is relative to your home folder and if you start with the slash um, that's an absolute path so let's go to pirate data so once you connect it, it it should automatically get your departure airport and aircraft type now this is uh, an A320neo in Kuala Lumpur um, that's whiskey mic kilo kilo so the program automatically generates a list of available um, arrival airports so Merlion uh, this is Merlion flies from WMKK to Singapore uh, that's Manila and Bangkok in an AC20 Neo I'm gonna select Singapore right your pilot number this is important this is not your pilot ID so let's say your pilot ID is uh, Mike India Alpha 0001 so my pilot number would be 1 
if it's um, MIA0350 then your pilot number will be 350 that's only the number not the whole ID now once you selected uh, your airport you should uh, your aircraft registration you should get select here you select an aircraft registration and finally the flight number and put in a reasonable passenger count for the number of passengers on board for an A320neo 172 is um, quite okay now once you finish your flight you can start a new flight by resetting pirate data I'm not going to do that now so you, now you go to uh, pirate functions and you select start flight once you select start flight this uh, thing gets stuck in a loop now what happens is when you end your flight that means the conditions that have to be met are you have to be at your arrival airport and that you have to be on the ground so when you do when you're on the ground and you're at your arrival airport then um, this thing gets unstuck uh, it gets out of the loop so right now I'm gonna pause the video I'm gonna do the flight and then uh, come back when I'm down at Singapore alright so if you go to virtual star Alliance website and click on the ADC Center uh, page you can find the car system under live tracking um, so you go to live tracking you should see a list of all the pilots using the um, uh, the automatic pilot uh, report and the car system so at the moment I'm flying uh, Merlion flight 577 from Kuala Lumpur to Singapore uh, and that's me over there um, and Merlion 409 is flying flight 1637 from Medan to Singapore he's on approach right so this is where you find the flight tracking um, this thing well the the program I'm showing you right now works only for flight gear but then the virtual star alliance is made um, a, a, a small um, uh, modifications to KA cars for flight simulator X um, aircraft to appear here too at the moment none of the other VSA members are um, flying but when they do uh, their flights will appear on these uh, on this map too well um, right right so once you've uh, shut down the plane uh, you're all done parked you can now go back to the auto pirate system and you'll notice that it's unstuck now um, you can go around tabs so I'm gonna click on end flight so now what it's gonna do is it's gonna calculate your total flight time the fuel you used in kilograms and uh, sends it, it sort of like sends a trigger to the a car system to notify that your flight is over so that you're out of the tracker um, this might take some time depending on your internet speed because uh, right So my flight time was 53 minutes. Uh, this is hours dot minutes. It's not decimal hours. It's like 53 minutes, and uh, I used 2013.21 kilograms of fuel. Uh, now with this data, it's gonna submit a, a pilot report. If I click file pilot report, now uh, this too is uh, it, it. It takes us, you know, it takes time according to your internet speed. Uh, mine's not very fast at the moment, but generally it's generally it's quite fast. You don't have to worry about that. Well, um, yeah. Anyway, once you file a pilot report, it'll appear in uh, it'll appear on at the Merlion's website. Um, yeah, it's done now.